America is starting to fulfill the prophecies. So how close are we really to the United States having a full image of the beast? Well, Alberto explains about a secret sign that was to be given amongst the Jesuit order. It says the following. A secret sign was to be given to the Jesuits worldwide when the ecumenical movement had successfully wiped out Protestantism in preparation for the signing of a concordat between the Vatican and the United States. The sign was to be when a president of the United States took his oath of office facing an obelisk. This is interesting. So according to this Jesuit priest, there's a secret symbol or a secret sign that will be issued that will give the signal to all the Jesuits worldwide that when the president of the country gives his oath facing an obelisk, that will be the signal that ecumenism has wiped out Protestantism. So let's look again at a satellite image of the Capitol and tell me on which side of the Capitol is the obelisk. You see there? It's on the western side of the Capitol. So at the time that the president uh, has his inauguration or, or um, somehow takes his oath of inauguration, his oath of office as it were, facing that obelisk, that would be the signal to Jesuits worldwide. So they would have to move the inauguration ceremony from the east portico to the west side of the, of the capital. Not many people understand that in history it has always been the requirement of the American president to be inaugurated on the eastern side of the Capitol. Here's a list of presidential inaugurations that have taken place since the beginning of America's uh, constitution. Just after that, March 4, 1829, the very first uh, president was sworn in, President Andrew Jackson. Do you notice as I zoom in, he was, uh, the location of that inauguration ceremony was on the east portico? After that, Martin van Buren, East Portico. William H. Harrison, East Portico. James K. Polk, East Portico. And it goes on, Zachary Taylor, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. East Portico, East Portico, East Portico, East Portico, East Portico. And you can go through the list all the way from 1829 to 1845 to 1877, 1917, 1921. All of them are East Portico, East Portico, East Portico. What do you notice about 1961 onwards? John F. Kennedy, East Portico. 1965, Lyndon Johnson, East Portico. 1969, East Portico. Richard Nixon, East Portico. 1977, James Carter, East Portico. And then what do you see there? January 20, 1981, Ronald Reagan, West Front of the United States Capitol. 1989, George W. Bush, West Front. 1993, William Clinton, West Front. 1997, William Clinton, West Front. 2001, George Bush, West Front. 2005, George Bush, West Front. So in history, we've had East Portico, East Portico, East Portico, East Portico, East Portico throughout history. And all of a sudden in 1981, boom. West Front at least, West Front, West Front, West Front. Isn't that amazing? The Jesuits understood that the ceremony of inauguration had to be moved to the West Front when Protestantism had been wiped out through the ecumenical movement. And from that day onwards, the president, when he now raises his hand and he swears allegiance uh, pointing towards the sun temple or the obelisk, he's actually facing Rome. He's now swearing allegiance to protect America and he's actually saying it facing Rome. Newsweek, January 26, 1981, page 34, says, For the first time in history, the swearing-in ceremonies were moved to the west front of the Capitol and President Reagan faced the Washington Monument. This happened January 20, 1981. There's the image. There you can see President Reagan as he faces the obelisk towards the west. It says in usgovernmentinfo.about.com, since the first inauguration of President Reagan in 1981, the swearing ceremonies have been held on the west front of the United States Capitol building. The only exception was in 1985, swearing in of President Reagan's second term, when cold weather forced the ceremony into the Capitol Rotunda. How close are we to the fulfillment of these prophecies? We are that close. From 1981 onwards, the 
inauguration ceremonies have taken place facing the obelisk. And not only that, Ronald Reagan, here you see an image of him as he faces the sun, the, the sun temple or the, sun, the dwelling place of the sun god, this obelisk. He's facing Capitoline Hill. Capitol pointing to Capitoline. Here's an image of Pope Benedict overlooking St. Peter's Square on Sunday, the April 16th, 2006. He's looking at the sun obelisk. And where's he actually looking? He's looking at Rome. You see, if they were to have turned Capitol Hill around, they would never be able to make an image to the beast because they would be riding like in a bus. So they would have to point each other around the globe to have the same meaning, either this way or that way. And for the first time in history, from then onwards at least, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, they're all swearing towards Rome and showing openly their affiliation towards sun worship. Here's an image of Ronald and Nancy Reagan, Tuesday, January 20, 1981. Yay, we're the victors. Very sad to realize what they were actually busy with.